Mein Kampf, or My Struggle, first released in 1925, is an autobiographical volume that also contains the political ideology and future aspirations of Adolf Hitler. The original dust jacket featured the familiar swastika that would symbolize Hitler's regime. In the book, Hitler describes his desire to abolish the parliamentary system of government in the old Weimar Republic in favor of his vision for Germany, which ultimately was iron-fisted rule through his Nazi party. Volume 2 was published in 1926. Over 12 million copies were sold in Germany, and from 1936 on, the Nazi party gave a copy to all newlyweds as a wedding gift. The German government owned the rights to the book, and out of respect for victims of the Nazis, they restricted any publication. But last year, in January 2016, the copyright expired, and within days of entering public domain, Mein Kampf hit the presses for the first time since World War II. The Institute of Contemporary History of Munich threw together a series of presentations and debates around Mein Kampf in cities all over Europe in order to measure the impact of the new edition. The Institute also says the anti-Semitic manifesto has been flying off the shelves since its release last January. Only 4,000 copies were originally planned, but demand went through the roof. The new edition is now in its sixth print run and is also being printed in English and French, but interest is on the rise in other countries. The two-volume set spent much of last year on the non-fiction bestseller list in the German magazine Der Spiegel and even rose to number one for several weeks. The last time this book was widely circulated, it led to the annexation of surrounding nations to gain Lebensraum, or living space, for the German people and eventually World War II. But worse than that, it led to the Holocaust. Anti-Semitism has been on the rise around the globe for some time. The Jews are historically the most persecuted people on the planet, and we may be in the beginning stages of history repeating itself again. Am I the only one who thinks reprinting this book is a bad idea? Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.